to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? The old, in with the new. Long with the queen. Und hiermit wieder herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Wolf Among Us Episode 4. Oh je, was ist hier passiert? Hollow Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Ja, für Episode 1, 2 und 3 einfach mal in der Beschreibung auf die Playlist drücken. Sieht mal rein. Es ist eine ganze Geschichte, die wunderbar erzählt ist. He's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little to do for the pain. My arm. My arm. Yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, baby, don't move, it. doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Okay, wir hauen ihn wieder rein. Renk ihn einfach ein. Du bist der große böse Wolf. Wir spammen jetzt mal kurz Q. Und, ah, das sieht wirklich ekelhaft aus. Aber so gut wie neu. Naja. Autsch. Spielen wir jetzt selber Doktor oder was? Na okay, wir probieren es nochmal. Was ist schon ein offener Bruch? Ja, komm, 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 komm. Wir haben es bald geschafft und eintränken. So gut wie neu. Hm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Yeah, the lady is Snow White, and we are the big bad wolf. Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work. We're so good, we? wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Snow. Geflickt. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please give us the time. Yeah, here's Colin, unser Stubenschwein. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. 
Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not <laughs> even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Colin, Wait, shut what? up. Your hooves? Colin, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm right here, guys. Come on. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Immer wieder schön die Grafik zu sehen. Gefällt mir ziemlich gut den Comic Style. Ein Bier jetzt mal so, doch. How do you um feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell. Wir fühlen uns wie Scheiße. Think I feel like shit. You should see how you look. <lacht> gut gekontert, kleiner Schwein. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, Ah, wir schmeicheln hier etwas. And even he thought you were Snow. I'd never leave you. No, oh, ja, das wollte yeah, sie hören. Really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin, I'm just saying I was worried about him as all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man hmm. taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? We lassen es nur entscheiden. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm hmm. gonna let Bloody Mary just nehme ich? murder. Wir danken, Snow. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb. Was redet das Schwein so viel? Natürlich sind wir angepisst. Of course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. Hmm. So what could this have to do Vielleicht with Faith and Lily? Ausgenutzt. How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. 
the Crooked Man, declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, hmm. but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought Aber behind things will never hier. hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I we really believe that we him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, hmm. then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried, and we can all move on. We were under attack, Snow. Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. Okay, we have him. Umgebracht. I can admit that it went too far. Well, that's a good first step. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick. We can on steps for that in I'll speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Monday does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Bluebird. Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the footloose. Close. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She, she knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Oh yeah. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Haha, <laughs> She's right. a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Mm. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Also für alle, die es davor noch nicht gesehen haben, die Geschichte verändert sich dementsprechend, wie ich mich entscheide. Das heißt, 
wenn ich zum Beispiel den einen oder anderen umgebracht habe, zieht sich das die ganze Story durch. Das heißt, eine kleine Fehlentscheidung von mir und das Ende geht vielleicht komplett anders aus. Es bleibt spannend. Hier ist eine Rizza. Und hier ist das Intro. Schöne Musik. Big B, der die Straßen entlang geht. Ich muss noch immer sagen, die Grafik, die hat ihren Charme. Also ich muss wirklich sagen, sie gefällt mir. Ja, zu den Vorteilen, es ist viel passiert. Wir haben zum Beispiel einen der die Brüder umgebracht. Wir haben einen den Arm ausgerissen. Wir haben Leichen gefunden. Wir haben Täter beschuldigt. Wir haben so viel erlebt. Wenn ihr wollt, seht es euch an. Ihr findet alles in derselben Playlist natürlich. In gleicher Qualität. <lacht> Episode 4. In Sheep's Clothing. Im Schafpelz. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Oh, jetzt wird's erotisch. Have a seat. Sie ist, glaube ich, eine Meerjungsfrau. Also wir sind quasi alles Fabelwesen aus Geschichten. Der größte Bose Wolf, I, um, Schneewittchen okay? und so weiter. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be ja, uns ging es mal besser. Let's just say I've been better. <lacht> Puffin Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Okay. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? Give us an tip. You can try. I just... Her lips are sealed. Go ahead. It... Might work. You're crooked man. Because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Yeah, yeah. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Fragen wir nach. Haken wir nach. Is this going somewhere? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know, I want to help, but, but. It's okay. Did it said. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. Nein, nein, nein. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Huh? Do you like it? Hm? Do you? How hm. can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Nehmen Sie weg. Geht das? Hm. 
remove. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Okay. You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. Wir sollten jetzt einfach okay. runterreißen. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Hm, ah. Tröste sie. Wir brauchen sie noch. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. Natürlich. Don't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. Ha. <laughs> Bitch fight. That was... abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Nee. She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about ja, what's was going tun? on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Always play I have other matters to attend to. Und es geht weiter an die Arbeit. Ja Leute, wie es weitergeht, seht ihr natürlich in der nächsten Folge. Also seid gespannt und ich freue mich auf ein Wiedersehen. Euer Memento Mori. Ciao, ciao.